The NFL playoffs are here, and this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Rams and the Lions, next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store. As it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the... And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And he comes off of a really good regular season with over 4,000 yards passing. And now in the playoffs, people always ask the question, do you continue to play the way you played in the regular season? Do you turn it loose? Or do you tone it down a little bit? I think you got to be smart. But make sure you show the defense something they haven't seen before. That'll give them eight that time. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Looking left sideline. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Second and nine. They run once more with Taylor. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that's going to be big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now here's Brad Robbins now. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. So here are the Lions now backed up for their first drive. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. And he was absolutely sensational throwing the football all year long, better than 40 touchdown passes. That means he made good decisions, and his team trusted him with the ball. So I can't imagine a scenario in this game where they changed their philosophy. If they trusted him in the regular season, they're going to trust him now and let him turn it loose. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now a second and 10. Looking to throw here, Bennett. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. There's a lot about that play you could easily see coming. Backed up in the shadow of their own goal line, you know they're going to face pressure. He's lucky his arm was going forward. It was close, but it was going forward. Yeah, it could have been a safety or even give up the defensive touchdown. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now a fair catch taken, maybe a yard or two shy of midfield. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. 
Mahomes now on first down. On the move past the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They'll drop the throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And now it pauses. They tend to an injured player. And boy, that, you got to hope this is minor. That's Patrick Mahomes, who's in some discomfort out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Harris to return. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Bennett. Complete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw is Rush. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So, Charles, this a defense that hasn't made a lot of mistakes like this on the road to this playoff matchup, but that, a bad one there. Yeah, you definitely want to rattle and shake up the other quarterback, but you know you've got to do it the right way. Otherwise, that cloth's going to be on the ground. It was Mike Hilton up to make the tackle. From the 48-yard line, here's second and five. Throwing here, Rush. This one is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jonathan Taylor there. And it's third and five. Now Rush. Oh, this will be incomplete. And Rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. On oh, now to punt, Brad Robbins. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Bennett to the air on first and 10. Completes it to Aguilar. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and a yard. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains. That was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. First carry now for Isaiah Spiller. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. This is second and eight. To throw is Bennett. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Rams are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. First down now for Rush. Complete to Johnston here. Personal foul. Rushing the passer. Defense. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Rush. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Here's Rush to throw. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. Taylor is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Now the try here for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Here's Harris to return it. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Well, off play action, here's Bennett. And that went to the right side and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. 
But hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Hooker, a bullet throw, but incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. Rush to throw on first down. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. And the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Second and ten. Play fake. Here's Rush. This will be caught. Judy. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. A nice grab there for a guy coming off a terrific season, one that saw him have over 100 catches. And when you have that many catches, that means you're a full part of the offense. And let's face it, he's been as good as anyone in the NFL this year. So figures he's going to play a big role in whether his team can advance in the playoffs. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Back to throw Rush. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Banks. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. That's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Harris now to return. Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now a bootleg with Hooker. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. In motion right is Aguilar. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Spiller. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. They go play action with Rush. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Here's second and 10. his way up past the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. Back to throw, Rush. More 
Burke in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and points result. We'll call this play significant. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. From the gun, it's Taylor. A little juke. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Rush with it on first down. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Off the play fake, Rush. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Joe Ron Williams. And the Lions are going to have it here just past the 25. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do this thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. His second catch in this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. He's got it to Ingram, complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Very nicely done there on the reception, and what an impact this rookie made on this offense, Charles, in the regular season. Yeah, he's a big part of why they are where they are. He stepped into an important role, embraced it, and in a lot of ways expanded it and immediately made a connection with his quarterback. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing. Hooker. He finds his man complete. That's McDonald. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Ball on the 27. Here's second down at a yard. Hooker now off play action. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Hooker. And he's going to go down again. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit, and once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 
44 yards rushing for him now to this point. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. Again, it's Taylor. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. But that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage. That's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Rushes this throw taken in by Johnston. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down. Rush. Offense is moving a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. On second down, here's Rush. This is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 23 yards on the play. They'll run here with Taylor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Quentin Johnston from three yards out. And the Rams have taken a two-touchdown lead now. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 14 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Off play action. Here's Hooker. He finds his man complete. That's McDonald. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run behind center with Spiller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Hooker to throw it. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They go play action. Here's Hooker. They'll roll him out right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Here's Hooker. His throw caught. The five. 
his second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they start the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to put. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are back within a score. Well, he didn't find the end zone a whole lot in his rookie campaign, but he's got himself a touchdown here in the playoffs. And we know the guys on the other side of the field were hoping that he would be intimidated by playing in the postseason, but they can just let that go because he's as confident as they come. And I know that he believes that that's the first of many playoff touchdowns that he's going to have as his career progresses. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and eight. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Hooker on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. It'll go as a gain of four. And it's second down. Working out of the shotgun, Hooker. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First down throw here. It's Hooker. all the way down inside the 35. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down in a 21-yard game. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10. Down at the 33. Straight ahead, it's Spiller. That's a strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Looking to throw, Hooker. And he fires one incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hooker's going to throw it. Gets this one to use check. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. 
Third and two. Here's Hooker. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Lions are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll run here with Spiller. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Isaiah Spiller taking it in from seven yards away. And the Lions are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. Tucker now for the extra point. And we've got a good one rolling. We're all not up at 14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Isaiah Spiller capping things off with a touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. On first and 10 is Spiller. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise. And now you've actually opened up your playbook. You want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Hooker. Here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Christian Wilkins forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and they're front seven defensively. They've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Rush working from the gun. 
And the pressure gets to him again. Caleb Von Chason providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Forty-five yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. They'll go right back to Spiller here on first down. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 72 yards rushing for him in this first half as he has certainly carried over his regular season success into the playoffs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Again, they run it with Spiller. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. The Lions on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and five. with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, CD, you know, any time they get close to the red zone, he is such a threat, and there he is again already, his second touchdown of the ball game. And I know it's probably a little bit of a failing on my part, but you know I watch a game through defensive eyes, and I don't understand what the coverage was doing there. When he headed out deep, they should have adjusted and flowed towards him. Instead, they left him out there and gave him a chance to make a big play. And, of course, he did exactly that. His size, speed, and versatility makes him a top target in any game. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Now Rush. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Aaron Donald. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Out of the shotgun, Rush. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. What a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions, that puts the entire team in jeopardy. So, the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. On the handoff, Spiller. And effective running here. They'll take it down inside the 10. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. 
Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Now Hooker. Drops it underneath to Spiller. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Looking to throw. Hooker. Complete yet again to Spiller. Touchdown! Isaiah Spiller. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Lions continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Well, he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On second down, Hooker. That's caught at the three. And he is going to lose yardage here. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that will lead to a third and goal. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Trying to throw again here. Hooker. And they're going to get to him. A sack. A sack back at the nine-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Now the Rams going to take over late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Short throw to Smith. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. Rush to throw on first down. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Rush's throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. First down now for Rush. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Here's Rush on second down. Pass complete to Judy on the out route. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. That is caught. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that is no good. And the deficit will stay at three scores. It's hard to be surprised in the midst there with the way this first half has gone. Here they were hoping to get some sort of momentum to carry them into the locker room, but even this doesn't pan out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. The drive starts with a give to Spiller. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wildcard matchup.